the thing that bothered me is that um, the Democratic convention was overwhelmingly a nationalistic convention. Yes, it was nationalistic and, and it was inclusive, but um, you know, the Democratic Party was very conservative at this convention. Now understand that conservative values should include diversity by, 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 um, by virtue of the Constitution, right? There's room in the Constitution for diversity. And if you're real conservative, then diversity should be a part of your interpretation of the Constitution. I know that's not the case, right? I know that that's not the case. But it was interesting to see the Democratic Party become the flag-bearing, uh, pro-family, pro, uh, you know, it was just really conservative uh, in that sense. It was really a shift to the right in this interpretation of America. And it was, it was, it was a play on, I mean, even President Obama's speech, he was talking about how uh, Donald Trump isn't really Republican and how Donald Trump isn't really conservative. And then he started moving the party further and further to the right. Um, I think it's okay to be pro-American, right? I think it's okay to be patriotic and fly your flag, right? But I don't think it's okay for us to play uh, patriotism and play at, the 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 themes that the conservative party and the republicans have so easily manipulated for propaganda like unless we're going to unpack it like um the clip i just played with uh, mr khan and his wife talking about their son who was killed in the war unless we're going to unpack it and show that this is the patriotism this diversity is what is unless we're going to un unpack all of the years of propaganda that the Republican Party has uh, imbued into the connotations of real America, unless we're really going to undo it, then it's dangerous for us to play with those themes to attract Republicans because attracting Republicans, in, drawing someone with the idea of real America, their interpretation of real America could be very different than what we, what I consider to be real America. I consider real America to be everyone who is in this country, born in this country, immigrated to this country, everyone, every orientation, every gender, every gender identity, uh, every race, every religion, no religion. And playing on these conservative themes without unpacking that and being very open about that attracts people who are attracted to the real America and take America back and the flying of the flag and the red, white, and blue. But in their mind, the red, white, and blue is for white Christian men. So it was a little uncomfortable because, you know, even though they had that moment there that was beautiful to me with Mr. Khan, his wife, and, and talking about their son and challenging the republic and challenging Donald Trump, whether or not he had even read his constitution, I think that was the high point. I think that was it. I think everything else was just propaganda and propaganda particularly targeted to draw right wing Republicans. And that could be problematic if we are not properly helping them understand that if you're coming over here from over there, then you have to leave your xenophobia, your homophobia, your Islamophobia, your racism, your sexism, your transphobia. You have to leave all of that over there and come to this interpretation of America, which is a conservative interpretation of America, conservative in the sense that all men, all women, or all non-gender conforming, all religions, all races are created equal.